Hello girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich, and welcome to another Tarot Talk Tuesday, with this being the first Tuesday of the month. We are reviewing and revealing a deck. Um, this is actually not my deck. This is a deck that I got, uh, or that I didn't get, but my, my partner got, my boyfriend got, um, whenever we went to Barnes & Noble. He saw it, he wanted it, he is a huge fan of this movie that it is based on and it is the nightmare before christmas tarot deck i am not so much a fan i don't think i've actually ever watched the entire movie all the way through uh i've seen like parts of it and i got the gist of the movie however not the biggest fan just because i every time i watch it i happen to be tired and i end up falling asleep like halfway through it so anyway, there's a lot of references in here that I do not get, uh, some of which I do, but like I said, he is a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's go ahead and go into the nether regions, and I will be reviewing and revealing this deck. Uh, it is the Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot Deck and Guidebook. Um, this is, it doesn't have who... The artist was... nope. At least not on the cover. Okay. Um, I'm going to take points off for that, but um, it is by Insight Editions. And not sure exactly what year this came out, because I don't see a copyright date on it. But uh, we'll get into that whenever we go into the book. Okay, meet you down in the nether regions. Okay, so here we have the deck and guidebook. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on there for you guys um, without it getting too uh, glary on you. And look at the finish on here. I kind of love this. The artwork in here is fantastic. So what you get with this is a two-part box. Just a standard two-part box. Nothing really to write home about. It is uh, nicely done as far as the designs in on the inside. The designs overall are very nicely done with a little bit of gold gilding there and whatnot. You get this nice little book, and I'm going to go ahead and go through the book real quick. So we have, this is written by Minerva Siegel and illustrated by Abigail Largan. And uh, this was the first thing that I pulled out of the... Uh, out of the pack whenever he got it. So uh, he wanted to look at the cards. I said, give me the book real quick. Um, so yeah, we have a little introduction to the deck, understanding your tarot deck, you know, your common things, the major arcana. And the good thing about this is, uh, and this is for every card, you get a full color picture, very nicely done. Um, Again, this is something that I can take it or leave it. It does not matter that much to me if you have a color picture or a picture at all. Um, and I'm just going to give you the example of the full here. The full represents someone who is starting in an, an exciting adventure. Jack Skellington, like the full, is enthusiastic and determined as he sets out on his ill-advised journey to take over Christmas. Upright. Channel Jack Skellington's childlike enthusiasm as you take your first brave steps towards something new. With limitless potential, there's no telling how far you'll go. And then it has reversed meanings, and I love the way that they actually say these. Jack's naivete and idealism initially blind him to the damage he causes when taking over Christmas. Learn from his mistakes. Stay excited about the future, but be sensible and look before you leap. See, in this, this is something that you get with movie decks that I really kind of love. Is that you get something that goes along with the uh, the theme of the movie and what goes right and wrong. And this is probably a really good movie uh, to base a tarot deck on because there is a lot of. Uh, nuances to it and whatnot and we're gonna go all the way to the back they have changed the suit names so that is something to keep in mind um, 
but we'll get into that whenever we actually uh, go through the deck. I have organized this deck so it is um, in tune with the Rider Waite Smith. I think it's all in tune. We'll see. So anyway, so at the back of the deck you have Terror Readings, and it gives, uh, let's see, Caring for Your Deck, Preparing to Read Tarot, and it gives a three-card spread. It gives another three-card spread. And then a uh, five-card spread. And then an about the author and about the illustrator. So I'm kind of loving that. And this was uh, released in 2020. So it's a fairly new um, a new book, a new, uh, or new pack. So new deck. Okay. So, I love that they put these little ribbons in there, but I did not use it this time. Go figure. Okay, so we're going to set this aside here. And we're going to bring our, uh, what you call it over here, our comparison deck. The old school, standard, quote unquote standard, traditional, quote unquote traditional, Rider Waite Smith. Okay. So we got that and we got this. Let's do some size comparison. It looks, actually, it is a little, little wider and a little taller than the Rider Waite Smith. Maybe by like a 16th or an eighth of an inch, probably like an eighth of an inch, um, bigger on both sides. Not something that's huge, not something that you uh, need to freak out over. Looking at the backing, I absolutely love these backs. I, again, not a huge fan of the movie, not a, a genre or a movie that I have really fallen in love with. I do enjoy watching it, but it's not something that overly, um, that I will go out of my way to watch. But I absolutely love the backs of this. So, beautiful backs. Let's check some size comparison on thickness here. And they are actually a little bit thicker than the Rider Waite Smith. Um, this is the, the one with the nice plastic coating, not the uh, cheaper version that they started coming out with uh, within the last couple years. So, gives you an idea. Okay. So let me see if I can make you guys a little bit bigger and maybe we can uh, see the cars a little bit better because it does have nice artwork even though the movie in and of itself is not my my favorite thing. And do we have everything facing the same way? No, we do not. We have it facing the right way for me. So let's go ahead and do and let's switch positions because this is how I do it. <laughs> So, let's go ahead and do this. And let me see if I can make you guys just a little bit bigger so you guys can see the artwork a little bit nicer there. There we go. Again, nice pictures. And they keep fairly close to the Rider Waite Smith on a lot of it. Uh, you would not be able to edge these. So that's something to note. Um... Uh, if you were to edge them, I would be very afraid of how it would look. Um, that you might actually get into some of the picture itself. So, yeah. I would not suggest edging them. Just my personal advice there. Okay. And I will say this. That I will not be shuffling these um, as a as part of this review today because it is not my deck and my boyfriend even said to me I said do you have a problem with me riffle shuffling these and he says not before I do and he hasn't gotten to shuffle them I basically took these away from him as soon as uh, as soon as he came home with them and whatnot or as soon as we came home and whatnot so I'm like yeah you know I'm going to have to do a review of this before you go using them or, or anything. Or period. You know, that way he can 
because he he has his own room that he and he's not really metaphysically uh inclined he doesn't really uh do tarot he doesn't do oracle he doesn't um he's not a real spiritual person but he has had tarot decks in the past and he has read tarot in the past and um uh, yeah, he loves Nightmare Before Christmas, so I said, hey, if you want to get these, let's get them, and, you know, if you need help with a reading and um, what the meaning might mean for you, let let me know, and we'll, we'll do a little study course, and you'll learn how to use them. So, maybe this is something that might actually bring us a little bit closer in, in our in our love life here. And I didn't even actually look to see. But, uh... It was Justice and... And, uh... I'm sorry. I don't usually stop the video. Yeah, Strength was 8. Okay. I couldn't remember if they uh, inverted Strength and Justice, so... Yeah, anyway. Getting back to On Track... <clears throat> Let me have a drink of my tea real quick. <clears throat> okay. So this this is... Um, I'm going to explain the changes here. Instead of swords, they have needles. So that's something to keep in mind. That you will have to kind of relearn the, um, the differences between swords and needles once you start going with something like this i think it would be fairly easy to do now i don't like uh whenever a tarot deck has like a pips uh style so that was a little disappointing there again i don't i don't really know the movie that all that well so i can't even speak to what point of the movie this might come from or <clears throat> how accurate it is again we have another pips one for the six of needle or the seven of needles i'm sorry no what was six okay but yeah again I can't really speak too much about the characters and the way that everything happens in the movie. So, yeah. I'm just going to have to trust that they're sort of close. But cannot guarantee anything as far as that. Um, yeah. So that's, that's basically where we sit on that one. Now, for wands, we have candles, so that's another thing to note. All of them have been changed, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, yes, they have. So, again, you have some pip style ones. Not a huge fan of that because there are so many ways that you can. Um, that you can take this movie for different things, for different styles, uh, and add the candles or needles or whatever in there. So I'm kind of disappointed that they that they did that. <clears throat> With my limited knowledge of the uh, of the movie, uh, I think they could have gone in different directions on that rather than giving us a pips uh deck on certain cards so might be a little harsh of a thing to say but um yeah that's what i'm gonna say now one thing i would like to do is I would like to get the Harry Potter deck that uh, is out there. I I have seen one that is absolutely wonderful, and I think it costs like sixty or seventy bucks. 
but maybe I'll eventually get it and treat myself to a really nice deck that um, that I can cherish for years and delve into the meaning along with the uh, what you call it along with the storyline because that would be something that the storyline would coincide for me the uh, traditional quote-unquote traditional meanings so and I will say that this camera is not necessarily doing these a lot of justice but they are very nicely done cards uh, you don't have a lot of like vivid colors it's kind of that 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 kind of creepyish look okay so where were we um, cups or potions I did not mention that cups are renamed potions and pentacles are renamed presents so yeah anyway uh, like I was saying I would like to get the Harry Potter one because I am more familiar with that storyline I think the artist did a fantastic job on it um, I have written to the artist to see how much it was to get that deck and they gave me a quote I think it was a like 60 65 dollars something like that somewhere around the that price range and I didn't have the money then and I haven't really had the money set aside for such a, an extravagant deck and it would be one that like my uh, my spirit keepers tarot that I would kind of keep to the side I wouldn't really use it for regular readings um, my because my Rider Waite Smith gets um, it gets beat up like th this deck here it it has gone through hell uh, here and there now it's not dirty like most people's but that use theirs all the freaking time but um, it gets banged up my other one my small uh, travel one that one gets beat up a lot more let me go ahead and bring these out so that is the nightmare before Christmas let me get the box and everything back over here the nightmare before Christmas tarot deck and uh, guidebook uh, set again usually I do the shuffling to show you how well it shuffles I don't think this one would be that difficult to shuffle um, they they feel a little thinner of cardstock but overall it's actually thicker than the um, Rider Waite Smith so I would say that's probably not difficult to shuffle you don't have gilded edges or anything that anything sticking it does have a little bit of a a raised up part that as you're working the it'll smooth out and whatnot so the the edges are a little bit on the rougher side as far as right around here at the very end um, so yeah that is, that would be something that it would uh, you know smooth itself out and whatnot it'll work itself out there so let me go ahead and put this all back in there again the guidebook has been written by Minerva Siegel and it has been illustrated by Abigail Largan and that my friends is the if I can get the box lid on there let me get that on there for him and now my boyfriend can actually take this and I don't know why that's not going on for me anyway <laughs> not gonna spend too much time doing this on camera um, that is the nightmare before Christmas uh, deck and guidebook and uh, yeah like I said this is a fairly new one it came out in 2020 and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, back to my boyfriend so he can utilize it and um, start enjoying tarot because he is such a lover of this movie so if you have this deck let me know in the comment section down below how you like it what you like about it what you don't like about it um, 
how does it do on readings for you and whatnot? If you don't have this book, this deck and guidebook, is this something that you would like to get? Is this something that would be more of a novelty item for you? Would you actually use this in a daily reading? I would say use it around Halloween and Christmas. Hmm, who knew? Two things like that could go together. But anyway, that's all that I have for this week's Terror Talk Tuesday. Join me next week for our individual card study on Terror Talk Tuesdays. Until then, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.